So last time we saw you guys, our van seemed doomed with bubbling liquid leaking from the van. We got a tow, went to a mechanic, and decided it was best to drive ourselves to Bogota carefully. We're driving to Bogota, but we want to be really, really safe. So Danny has the OBD sensor plugged into the van and he has it so it shows up on his phone what the coolant temperature is. Right now it's getting kind of high, so I'm going to turn on the heat here. We'll see if that makes a difference because that does take heat off of the engine. Right. Oh, yep, it's going down at least one degree now. Yeah, I so, sped up a bit. I'll try to slow it down a little. Yes. So yeah, we should see it climb a bit. And this is gonna help us know when to take breaks as well. Well right now there is a quite a climb. So oh, oh, 104. That's out good. Red zone. Out of the red. It's a really good tool and it's really helping us make our way to Bogota safely. So now that we're in the highlands, the temperature has dropped to 62 degrees. It's so nice outside, so that keeps our coolant temperature a lot lower. We still have the OBD reader reading the temperature of the coolant for us so we can stay safe. But it's way lower than it was whenever we were in like 80 degrees. And we actually made it all the way up here, up some hills, without having to stop once. So having this gauge has made it a lot easier to keep that alternate vent off. I wanted to share with you guys our beautiful little campsite in the trees last night. Just kidding, it's a parking lot at a gas station. But they got showers in here. Yeah, check out this shower. The cleanest shower I've seen in a while. Ooh, what do you think, huh? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's see, Emily, all she cares about is is it hot water. Is it hot? Ooh, even if it's as clean as this one. <laughs> The only thing is there's no spot to put your towel, but we got this little travel hack here. We bought these. Bing! So, Emily, what do you rate that? 10 out of 10. Ooh. 10 out of 10 wood shower again. We got a couple of peaches, the rasno in Spanish. Five peaches for 2,000 pesitos. That is 50 cents. I said, what are those things? What are those green things? I don't remember what he called them, but he said, you eat the inside. <laughs> and I said, okay, we'll try it. So you put these in for free. That's so cool. Trying a new fruit. It's so much fun to try new fruits. So I figured out what those little fruits they gave us were, and they're called fejoa. They are described as having the best parts of strawberry, guava, and pineapple mixed together. So they're super sweet, super tasty. Well, after all that craziness with the engine, we've decided we really need to get this van tuned up inside and out. We want to do, you know, all the engine maintenance kind of things, oil change, brakes. Get all that stuff looked at, get the fan looked at, which we think is the problem. But Transmission. Yeah. Just all of it. We've decided pretty much to do a refit. We're going to redo the cabinets, redo the chairs that, you know, we created all that stuff. So we know how to fix it up. But we're gonna try some new colors and we'll repaint, you know, any spots with scuffs. And <laughs> we've been in this van a lot longer than we expected in a good way. So today we've started to start off this whole process by getting the brakes looked at on the way to Bogota. They got the brake pads. Yay! Yeah, it sounds like Bogota's gonna have a lot more spare parts that we need. Oh, we have a big development. We got gas! We got gas! Not only did we get gas, but the owner gave it to us for free. And he filled up our water tank. So. Oh my gosh, he's incredible! Such a nice guy, We Alexander. finally got propane. We can cook on our real stove. Yes. No longer have to pull out the little camp stove over and over. Oh, oh my gosh. But we're gonna try to go get an oil change now. Okay, let's go. Ooh, getting all the things done. And down here, been cleaning this fan. It looks black, new. I don't see anything that would make it seem off balance. Try to clean the other side of these blades too. So now when we're testing, it seems like that fan actually squeaks. And the dirty one that I cleaned isn't squeaking when it spins. So he's thinking it might be that one, but 
seemed like this one, oof. It'd be better to get the whole thing out, test each. We don't have an official appointment, but we're heading to the Mopar shop to see if they have any idea how to help us. Tell me the news. That shop was so good. They're a Mopar shop. Mopar is the parts for the Chrysler group. So they're like official shop and it was really sweet. Um, by the way, I found them through the Ram website, Ram Latin America, but the mechanic seemed like stoked to check out this vehicle. He's like, oh, you're from the USA, you know? And even the security guard just chatted up with uh, yeah. and playing with Sombrita. Sombrita making friends with the mechanics. With his scanner, he could turn on just the bad fan, and it sounded fine today. Which is like the worst, when you go to the mechanic and it doesn't make the noise. But, yesterday I cleaned that fan hardcore. So it might have just been that it was so freaking dirty. Mm -hmm. And also that other mechanic did tighten it a bit better to the body, so it's not moving. And yesterday I cleaned even more of the radiator, all the associated parts put this foam piece back between the radiators it's supposed to keep them so it could have just been as simple as that but the mechanic even sprayed this stuff in there and gave me the bottle they didn't charge me anything for the whole thing and if we need any more work to the van while we're here i think we're going back there yeah so we're gonna drive up a big hill up above the city of bogota not to get a view but we'll get a view <laughs> Just to see if this fan makes that crazy noise again. Okay, so we're heading over to the hill. Got this traffic jam and all of these motorcyclists realizing that it's starting to rain and they all need to put on waterproof gear. They took up <laughs> almost two lanes. I mean, there's so many motorcyclists, it's almost like they should just make a designated area for people switching into, into rainy clothes because it rains, it seems like, just about every day. So this is the noise. That it's not sounding as bad as it did before. Before it was like bump, 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 bump at the same yeah. time as this vibration. But the whole dash is vibrating. Yeah, so the problem doesn't seem to be solved. But at the same time, it is... at 106 and it turned on at, one o at 110 so it cooled down the temperature oh, now it's at 15 so it did cool it down it's working like it's not broken but it's not I think it's loose or something yeah, everything shakes. well the views as mysterious as our engine problems I'm gonna try to make an appointment with that awesome shop where you were just at and hopefully they can do a full diagnostic on the thermostat and everything. Don't know what's going on, but at least the motor's not blown like we thought at first. But when we saw boiling liquid on the engine, you know, that really scared us. So, we're going to wander the area of Candelaria a bit. This is where the city of Bogota began, the old city. Even before the colonists, Candelaria was a sacred place for the Muiscas. Candelaria is where most of the museums, universities, and cultural centers are in Bogota. Also close to Candelaria is the planetarium, where we're heading tonight for a Michael Jackson light show.
much for the mechanics. The plan Friday is he's gonna jump in the car when we get here, connect the scanner, we're gonna go drive up a hill, get that engine fan to make the crazy noise, he'll be in here, and the purpose of recording this with the scanner and then taking some videos of the sound and stuff is that we he wants to send it to Dodge. And oh, wow. he has a contact there in, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so he's hoping we send, he was talking to the guy on the phone all the way. And so this is what that guy's requesting to possibly cover it under warranty. So we wouldn't even have to pay for the van or the repair. Because they just replaced this like a year ago, you know? Yeah. Which I would love. It would <laughs> save us a thousand dollars plus the cost to have it installed. <sighs> so nothing's gonna happen today. It makes you tired. So I guess we're gonna go shopping to the, the mall, try our first yeah. Bogota yeah. fancy mall. Let's do it. Cool. been great checking out Bogota. And of course, my favorite part of big cities is big skate parks. Bogota has some enormous skate parks. This one's called Fontanar del Rio. Although truth be told, it's more like three skate parks, three separate parts that combine to make one huge mega skate park. It's amazing. You love this skate park? It's huge, I'm so tired. <laughs> Danny found us a super tasty vegan place to visit. It was really inexpensive with a menu of the day, pizza, or different types of bowls to try. The cheese on my vegan pizza was especially melty and stretchy. It was made from coconut milk. Highly recommend Orbevoir when visiting Bogota. We found a really nice in-city parking. It's not glamorous, but it's safe with the bathroom and has grass for the pets to get some energy out on. It's also a really nice part of town called Sonaje, which is in the gastronomical zone. We got some ramen last night and it was so delicious. I'm really excited for more of this zone. Okay, let's go, Grimmy. Good boy. Wow, hopefully today we get this problem figured out with the fan. I'm gonna pick up the mechanic here. We're going for a test drive. So with his scan tool, he was able to record what was going on and submit it for a warranty claim since they installed that fan less than a year ago. While we had the mechanic on the test drive, the fan did kick on and he was able to hear that noise. It was a little frustrating because it was a lot quieter than it had been before but nonetheless he decided the dash was vibrating enough that that fan's going bad and we'll have to replace it hopefully we'll be able to get a free fan out of this 
It was really nice having a mechanic in there driving with us because I was able to ask him a ton of little questions about fixing this or that. But when it comes to the motor, he concluded the only real problem is that fan right now. The transmission's okay, the oil's okay, and the real issue is that fan, which is making less noise probably because I cleaned it so well, but it's still vibrating too much. Thanks so much for helping us figure out what's wrong with this van. We have some big plans while we're waiting on our little home to be fixed up. Let us know your favorite things to do whenever you visit a big city in the comments. See you guys next time.